yesterday, so maybe uh, Chappie and Hartree are, could be filling in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Hartree was not a part of this team yesterday, so I'm confident on that one. In any case, it looks like we will have a silhouette, so maybe going to get to see just how well File gets to do with that one. Uh, Quincy is commenting that Ubergimp is also not here, so okay. making sure to verify for us and keep us all in line. But Swiftblade into the gauntlet. I'm liking it. I do like Silhouette against Swiftblade, though, particularly because it, obviously the, the, the tree grapple is, is physical. Um, so Swiftblade obviously normally able to get away so easily with his Blade Frenzy because of magic community, but we'll have a little bit of trouble against the Silhouette. So um, I'm already liking this draft coming out from Donkey Kong. I don't know how they're going to try and um, finish it off. Um, I really would like to see uh, sort of put, put Silhouette on or give him as much farm as possible and then try and end the game about 20 to 30, maybe, maybe 40 minutes as well. Because, I mean, Silhouette is a great carry, uh, don't get me wrong. Um, but I think when she picks up the, the portal key in Nullstone, that's where she really does shine because she can really get active. And, and one of those carries that can get involved in a lot of kills because of her, her ultimate as well. Um, so I'd like to see how Fyle plays it um, uh, and just see if he can really carry his team in, into game three. Oh, well, we're going to have to see, and especially what else they're going to have. Along with the silhouette, you might want something that's going to be able to generate some earlier pressure. But holy moly, we are going back in time. A Silhouette and Master of Arms lineup. This is like a year and a half ago. If they throw an Ophelia on top of this one, I'm just going to lose my crap, man. Like, it's just going to be... It's going to be pretty nutty. But Master of Arms, I mean, the blue buff is definitely something that works extremely well with Silhouette because of the way that her uh, deadly... What, it, hold on, what is it called? Death the Salvo is called. Over the Salvo. Over right. the Salvo. So, very, very strong. And... And Master of Arms definitely hasn't been played as much as many other carries out there. Your Torturer, your uh, Rhapsody, those are the ones that are your real first picks these days. But we'll see how MOA works out. I do like Master of Arms because of that global presence. I love heroes that can really get involved and across the map, even if they're not there. Um, and particularly for support heroes, I mean, being a support player myself, it's really hard to, to do all the jobs you need to, like, stack in, ward in, you know, doing all these little jobs as well as sort of assisting in, in ganks. But if you're playing, like, a hero like Master of Arms or Veruna, you can still help out in terms of ganks um, because of your global presence with your ultimate. So, um, and particularly with, like, a gank and sort of carry, like, silhouette, getting that little bit of ex sort of extra... Um, from like the master's call can all all what would be needed and um, to get sort of pick us with a silhouette so i do like this bus from pickup as well it offers a lot of um counter pushing if um you know adrian's family decide to go that sort of route um, and just overall just an all in all um good support hero uh, in master of arms not too bad indeed kraken gonna be added on over there and definitely gonna be able to drop some big kraken ultimates on top of swift blade it could be considered a little bit of a counter to swift blade because of the uh, superior stun going through his spin. Not too bad right there. But the second set of bands going to be coming out now. Uh, we did see Rally being played, I believe, by Donkey Kong yesterday. Uh, it was definitely picked up a couple times yesterday. Um, we've also seen teams like Potato play him, with Onmi playing a second support Rally. Glacius going to be banned well. out. Um, yeah, is that right? Yeah. So he, he's definitely been a hero that people have been picking up. Yeah. Um, I think he's actually been relatively unsuccessful Cherizaya, okay that's an interesting band maybe they huh. know something that we don't um i mean it's not a bad pickup really if you if you sort of see who they're going against bubbles and gauntlet as well as sort of swiftly in terms of the, the physical presence as well as the, the magical presence um i don't know if that really requires a band perhaps but i guess lg knows something that that we don't maybe don't come our you know fervent Cherizaya players but i'm not 100 percent sure about that one yeah, we'll have to check out what exactly pocket strats they might have had. But now Pyromancer are going to be banned down. So Donkey Kong really wanting to take out the uh, the supports. You've noticed that last game, though, Empath was banned out by LG. And uh, this time, Empath is not being taken out by either team. Rhapsody still available, as is Torturer. So when you've got this many supports still on the board, do you think that these bans on somebody like Glacius or Pyromancer could be wasted? Yeah, I do know what you mean, because they're almost like not really useful in terms of because you're only sort of cutting out half of the sort of supports. Um, but at the same time, I mean, there's, that's the only kind of heroes they, they need left in terms of Legion or Hellborn. So you kind of ban uh, what 
the enemy team needs. You're not going to start banning like more carry heroes if they've already picked up. You know, they're already carry heroes, etc., etc. Et um, but I mean, at the same time, I do know what you mean. Uh, right click a bramble. I would love to see a bramble, but I don't think we're going to see that here. Um, I mean, bramble is really strong here, by the way. Uh, but torture is being picked up instead. Um, I mean, it's most likely going to be a tri lane as well. So I'd like to see actually Don Kong pick up the empath most likely before um, Adrian's family do. Um, but we'll have to see, because I mean, Empath is such a strong hero in terms of the trial, and because of that Elusory Veil can just get people caught out with so many times and just set up so many kills, um, which you otherwise wouldn't get. So. so, to go along with this torture, we've of course seen the Glacius previously banned out this time. Um, you were just mentioning Empath, so you'd like to see that Empath gets sniped here by Donkey yep. Kong. Um, Definitely. If that, because, I mean, if it's taken away yeah, though, I mean, what do you go with? Do you go with Rhapsody? Do you go with Aluna? I mean, I, I would like to see something actually quite. You know, so we've, I've talked about it before, but there, there is the Empath. I'd, I'd like to see that because I mean, you can't give Empath and Swiftman on the same team because it's just too strong, particularly in a tri lane. And, and Donkey Kong are, are not going to pick up another jungler because Parasite is banned. And, uh, and so picking up the Empath was the perfect pickup. You could even argue that Empath should have been the fourth pick instead of the Torturer. But uh, going back to the fifth pick here for um, Adrian Simon, I would like to see a support hero that um, is, is offers something a little bit more outside of terms of the laning phase. Something like a Witch, something like a Pearl, something like a. Um, even like a, a witch slayer or, or a succubus or, or even a Cersei. I know it sounds quite weird, um, but I, I understand if they go with like a, a Rapture and a Luna, but because they're going against a tri lane. But something, um, something like, I support that offers something outside of the laning phase because once um, you know the supports get outside the laning phase, they don't offer all that much. As we talked about before, off cast, but. Um, you need to have, I'd like to have like one support hero that's good in the laning phase and one support hero that is also okay in the, the laning phase but also offers a little bit more, like a Polywog Priest or, or a Witch Lay in terms of ganking. I want um, a Voodoo Jester. Or Voodoo Jester. I want a yeah, Voodoo Jester. Jester. I'm telling you right now just because he's one of my favorite heroes and I like him a lot. You've already got Lockdown so between many... the Gauntlet and the Bubbles. Yeah. You have uh, so many favorite heroes, dude. Dude, I do. But he, he's, you can he's... only have one or two. I, I've got Sorry. probably ten. That <laughs> that's too many man. I've got 10 to... favorite heroes that probably occupy 90% of my games but it's going <laughs> to be a Tempest so okay. Trilane not going to happen right here and maybe they even baited the uh, Donkey Kong lineup into being geared yeah, toward a Trilane or, or in this I case mean, defending a Trilane yeah I expected a Trilane so I mean it would definitely put the Donkey Kong off off, uh, off board as well and actually we, it talks about in game one actually how I really like the bubbles plus jungle uh, lineup because you can really just put the bubbles there and then you know dodge with another jungler um, but prisoner 945 beef how long have we seen how long have we you know, not seen this hero play before like wow it, it's been at least a few weeks I want to say I saw him in a carnage pro league match uh, maybe three or four weeks ago Quincy might have uh, some stats but I would not expect to see Prisoner have been picked up more than five times in the last couple of months. In any case, we're going into game two. The guys from Donkey Kong's with their backs to a wall. They want to avoid elimination and continue trying to qualify for gold or even diamond division. They're going to have to pull it all out right now and force a game three. They've got quite the interesting lineup. It's time to see how Files Silhouette stacks up. And we're going to be getting into the game right about now. So let's talk about laning phase. I mean, Legion, I think, is quite obvious on how they're going to lane. They're most likely going to lane Torture Gauntlet middle. Um, either send the, the Swift Blade sort of suicide, quote unquote, against the tri lane coming out from uh, from Hellborn, and then run the the Bubbles suicide, which it looks like it's going to be now because Bubbles is running into the top lane. Uh, that can work. I would probably have preferred if Bubbles went the, uh, into the short lane and then sort of made Tempest rotate into the enemy jungle, dual laned. Uh, Gauntlet and Torture and then sort of send Swift Play Suicide because I mean Swift Play Suicide does work. I mean it is a little bit um, peculiar, but I mean I've seen it work and it can work. But actually I think it's just gonna be two dual lanes actually from Donkey Kong. So actually in fact I think that the way that um, uh, the way that Legion have sort of laned this actually is probably the best thing is how uh, Hellborn have laned it in terms of two dual lanes. Um, but I think I would have liked to have seen a, a tri lane coming out from, from Hellborn. Maybe they just don't feel comfortable in shutting out the Tempest. Instead, just want to get the farm on the Swillowet as well as the Prisoner 945. But, I mean, at the same, same time, you have to almost definitely um, run a dual lane with uh, with Prisoner because solo, he's not very strong, and you need to get those early kills with him. And my god, what is this Prisoner 945 avatar? It's he's looking, double he's damage glowing. forever. Yeah, like, what is this? This is sick. 
I don't know. I, I've seen this one before, but he wasn't all glowy. Maybe he gets oh, the just... glow from like having a bunch yeah. of avatars. Yeah, I think that's it. Because if you have, if you have okay. all seven gotta... of the like deadly sins, you look that like badass. Yeah, I'm almost certain because right, they did it on the, the seven store. deadly sins, didn't they? Yeah, I think. It, yeah, I don't think it says anything, but it's like a little hidden, like. We're going Easter into the store. Like, yeah. Prisoner. Nah, is it, this is temperance. Yeah, so this is what temperance yeah. looks like. Yeah. Normally. Because he's got all of them. He's and got all now, the, the sins or whatever. And so he all the, gets all the, the avatars, so he's double damage yeah. Trevor. Oh, sick. It's pretty So neat. pretty much, the, the moral of the story is just buy all of them, and then you look badass. Pay to win. Pay to win. <laughs> oh, man. But it's going to be a dual lane. Actually, no, it's going to be a dual lane with Prisoner, but against a solo, because Torture is actually sitting in the bottom lane. Um, I don't know if I'd like this decision, because um, whenever we used to run uh -oh. like a, a dual lane Up against top. a solo, actually... Empath, yeah, Empath could very well be dead. Bubbles is going to go for the kill right here. Uh, needs to actually get around the corner and probably eat his way into... Oh. Nope. Is Bubbles going to go for the dive? No, not going to happen. And Silhouette does not have a potion either. This is kind of one of the issues with running a Empath support against a Bubbles. You are not able to man up against a Bubbles that has come to lane with a significant oh. amount of regen. And although, they're going to be able to get the stun right here. And Bubbles, barely able to get away. But Bubbles, I mean, he comes to lane with 300 gold worth of regen. And he's able to trade like that pretty effectively. Bottom lane Kraken, yeah. going to have to burn a potion as well. Yeah, I mean, I think we saw it in, in the other game, actually. Oh, I think it was instant. No. Nope. Oh. No mana. Six mana short. That sucks. Um, but yeah, we saw it actually think it was the instant reflex versus Dawn and how Dawn, um, their carry Sir Taze, was able to keep lane control and really box him out. Um, okay. Instead, I mean, it, you know, Fire was kept lane control, but it's actually, in fact, that the Suicide's being able to box out the support and support not really boxing out the, the bubbles, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, they're going back to the middle lane, actually. Middle lane, Gordon's going to get hooked in, and he might be in trouble here. Yeah, he certainly should be. The Forked Lightning comes out as well as the body block. Prisoner945 was not confident in their ability to actually get this kill. Went back to auto-attacking creeps while Master of Arms was still trying to body block. So they weren't quite on the same page there, but it was a nice hook to set up. I think I actually disagree with the, the, the sort of skill choice build here for okay, Slashkarin. Okay, up top, somebody's um, dying. Uh, it's going to be one of these two, and the, the tree oh, grapple comes in. Oh. Bubbles trying to get away. Empath is trying to survive. Going to be able to get Mark a kill on Creeps. Down. And, yeah, Bubbles could be in a lot of trouble. No mana, and Ooh. Bubbles is going to have to hide. That is his only option, is to maybe die to neutrals. And oh. now Master Vimes is getting surrounded by neutrals, but double damage, MOA. And Cheppy gets the kill on side crash. so well done. Oh, that was close. That was very, very close. Um, but yeah, I was going back to the prisoner 945. I, I disagree with his skill build. I think he should get. Uh, he should start maxing the shackled because you saw you saw what happened to Gauntlet. He got hooked in, but they couldn't really you know finish him off because they just didn't have the damage, uh, nor the sort of you know the movement slow to really sort of take him down. Sure. Um, so I think the the uh, skill build should be a little bit different um, and at the same time I think that's kind of even nerfed the one what the one man riot at the same time so I mean it's not even really getting that much uh, sort of work out of his passive uh, either um, yeah, yeah what you can say this it's pretty minimal Ooh, hook. although that was a nice hook and he is gonna get the shackle this time the gauntlet hook is going to miss the auto attack should be plenty and down he goes this last key ret showing that he is indeed super KGE junior the Deadly Hooker Part 2 here. Um, but yeah, going back to what I was going to say previously is whenever we used to run a, a dual mid it, with instant reflex, we always kept going against uh, sort of solo laners. Like we, we used to scream against Tree all the time and they love to run solo mid. Um, so we sort of had to try and adapt our sort of dual mid strategy or just go solo. Instead, what we did, we started running dual mids and we started running hookers because that was the best way to really sort of, uh, sort of take out solo laners because if you was running like a magma or a pale, it's almost impossible to really um, take down the solo laner. But if you run a hooker, then you, you can just get the kills you wouldn't be able to before um, and in that sense you can sort of get uh, the kills you sort of need um, to make the lane viable because otherwise you're really kind of losing in terms of XP because you're really two laning or two v one 
um, and then since you have to get those kills for it to make to be worthwhile. Um, so picking the prisoner here it actually works quite well as long as I can keep getting the kills, and at the moment they are so. Um, in terms of Donkey Kong, they're actually doing quite well in terms of the landing stage. They're actually uh, ahead in gold right now, but only a little bit behind in, in XP. But that's probably because uh, the Tempest jungle in here um, giving uh, Adrian's family just a bit of an advantage. And speaking of that Tempest, he's going to finish up his mana ring as delivered by the courier right there. Level 5, so he's, he's having an alright time here. Certainly not uh, a perfect rotation, but doing not too bad. A little bit better than Kakashi Sensei is doing up top, although he's going to be able to get a pretty nice wall off. Bubbles is easily able to shell surf on over middle lane. Gauntlet does get hooked on in, misses the hook one more time, yep. and the lightning going out from Cheapy. He's 2 0 and 1, having a great start on yep. Master of Arms, finding kills wherever he goes. And I assure you, if that prisoner was not a prisoner, say if it was a magma or a pebbles, I mean, they would not be killing this Gauntlet, and Gauntlet would be most likely taking over this lane, even though he's solo. and. And that's why I think, I mean, the, the rule of thumb, in my, in my opinion, is that if you're going to go against, or if you're going to run a dual lane against a, a solo lane, you have to get um, a hooker, um, because that way you can sort of secure the kills and make the lane more viable, um, because otherwise it's always better to run a sort of solo laner and then run a jungler, because it's better in terms of golden XP, but if you're sort of feeding kills middle lane, then obviously um, it's always better for, for the, the dual lane. Um, but going back to Tempest though, he's only level 6, 260 GPM, maybe he can start trying to get involved uh, with his kills or involved in some kills because he's got his ultimate now. Maybe he's going to look for a, a kill middle. Gauntlet's level 6 as well, I think they can easily burst down Martial Arms if they've got everything on him. And actually Torch is rotating over as well, so they look like they're going to try and set, set something up. But there is a good lane ward here coming by uh, Chepe, and we should most likely support any rotations coming out from Tempest and Torch unless a Gauntlet hook is uh, made, so we'll have to see. Oh, up top, Empath is baiting once more. Shell Surf going to be coming in here, and it looks like Empath is going to fall. Bubbles will oh. drop as well. Gauntlet going to be able to get a hook backward. The Prison Break is not going to go off. My Hasted God. Prisoner is able to finish off Torturer. Oh, oh man. My you should have seen that middle lane. I know he was casting the top lane, but oh my god. He's gonna oh, hit another hook Tempest. right there. And now Leaf oh. is going to go down. He almost got his oh. ultimate off, but... My god. Slasky's this going ham! KG. This guy is super KG, I assure you. I know you was watching the bubbles in the top lane, but in the middle lane, there was three players who went onto Master Arms. Gauntlet ulted him. All three clumps up started, and then Tempest was going in uh, onto Master Arms about to ult him, and then Prisoner hooked oh all my three, and he gets God. another hook onto Gauntlet. Another indeed. Like, I mean, Prisoner saved Master Arms' life without a doubt. Hits all three heroes to save Master Arms' life, and then gets a kill on Torture, and then the Tempest, like, <laughs> this guy is super KG without a doubt. 420 GPM, only seven minutes in. Beef, can this guy be stopped? I, I, don't, I don't know if he can, and I'm going to save Quincy some time and effort here and let you know right now that his hook percentage is 100. <laughs> he throws one, <laughs> he, he finds at least one hero. It might even be higher than 100% if you would consider a hook of one or more hero more than one. So, uh, definitely looking good there in the middle ball. lane. He has like aimbot, I assure you, but yes. I mean, I just said that Tempest needs to start getting involved in ganks and he comes middle lane and <laughs> ends up feeding. I mean, he's not going to look for any more ganks because he's just too scared that that you know, prisoner is going to hook him. But yeah, absolutely well played coming out from Saskarin. Um, I can't credit him enough, um, but at least they did get a, the tier one bottom um, sort of, you know, helping the deficit gold and XP, at least in terms of Adrian's favor. As bottom lane, Kraken might be in trouble. Swiftblade does have the ult, he's most likely going to... Forby does put down the Kraken ulti. Can he survive, Beef? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure Ooh. either. He does go ahead and pop off the ultimate. Subplay dive into tier 2. He's going to even grab a couple extra creeps. LG showing that he's got some balls as he is balls deep in this lane. And, uh, well, bad times right there for the substitute from the guys at Donkey Kong. He's definitely not having the greatest of times, but he does have level 6. Unfortunately, the cooldown being expended there, so he's not going to be able to roam with that. But, I mean, how's File doing up in the top lane? 350 GPM, he does kill, uh, he does end up getting at least one kill on, on Bubbles. And, and I really do like the way he's sort of playing Silhouette. I like the Ghost March. Normally, you sort of see um, the uh, the Steam Boots, and, and I, I prefer the Ghost March because you need the mobility. I mean, I played. Um, silhouette quite a bit myself, and uh, you do sort of suffer because you to get the true grapple, you need a lot of mobility in either in in, uh, in in terms of a portal key or just you know raw movement speed. And it looks like he's going for an energizer as well, so he's not going to be completely um, low on life. So um, some good build up here coming from File, and uh, most likely going to follow up with maybe a, a portal key or a null stone, depending on, on what he gets. 
Yeah, I mean, we haven't seen the uh, Energizer coming out of him when he's been played in the past uh, couple weeks by Marcus Moy, who's you know been our resident silhouette Splinter expert, blend. and he is going to dive in right there. Oh. What, what is that uh, one called? The flying tree grapple thing? Tempest is going to come on in, but a nice wall from Empath makes sure that's not going to happen. Meanwhile, the middle lane... Oh Sasuke Ret Rhett, Rhett's at 100% hooks in this line. Gauntlet's at like 10%. I mean, no flame here yeah. onto uh, Ak Joaquim yet at all. But <laughs> I, he, he's had some very serious issues finding the gauntlet grapples. Yeah, man. But I mean, the prisoners. I mean, I've said I didn't really like his one skill point into Mo Man Mara, but it doesn't really matter if you get 100% hooks uh hook percentage on the old board and chain and and he's just making so many kills that just shouldn't really like happen but in the end he finds him and i just don't even know how man but those, those hooks man they're just unable to be missed it's like he's got like aimbot or say on his hooks and they just don't miss sorry man i'm distracted break ecpk is talking shit in chat i can't let him have that man you just start you said bring out your dongers and just attack Attack. I don't know, man. He he asked Quincy for my stats in pro matches, and then asserted that my stats were 12-0 and one with boots dropped. And I'd like to clarify <laughs> that the boots were never purchased, Breaky. I ended that game as a Glacius with no boots and an astrolabe. Oh, okay, stats, zero, zero, zero 12 and one. Excuse me. Quincy, have you got any stats on me? They're probably like all three. They're nope. probably like zero. That was not true. I was like two seven and four or something. So. I don't know what my stats are. But They're pretty terrible. I don't know what they are. I don't know if I don't even have any stats. Who knows? Um, but yeah, going back to the game, and there is a pause. So. A little bit anti-climax, but... Um, but yeah, like, it's crazy. This prisoner has got higher GPM than the, the short farming uh, silhouette. We're just saying that just shouldn't happen. And as a result, this gauntlet is having to buy striders. I mean, I feel for this guy. I really do. Um, and that's why I thought there was going to be a torture in the middle lane. Maybe could, they could have helped this gauntlet lane a lot better. I mean, yeah, Swiftblade would have been you know, facing a Kraken and he would have had a hard time, but at least it was a melee versus a melee. And Swiftblade isn't the, you know, the worst lane before. I think Quincy showed some stats that you know, he was going suicide and he was most likely 1v1. And he's got 100% win rate. So, I mean, it just shows in terms of stats as well that he can sort of 1v1, um, particularly if he's against a melee. And even if he's against a range, he can man up, um, particularly when he, you know, with the, the blade frenzy. So... Um, I think maybe just the way that um, you know, Donkey have laned it, uh, they they sort of you know, should maybe want a dual mid. And there's my stats, Beef. Are they better than Beef though? I've got oh, I've got positive KD. I, I, nice. Well, you've got positive KD. You've already gotten me beat. You don't even need to look any further Sick. than that. I can tell you. Two hundred fifty eight. Yeah. I can Sick. tell you that I have never gone positive in any game ever, even on a carry. So. <laughs> It's fun, but if it happens, don't worry. Yep. You see what I do. Whenever, everybody. whenever I used to play competitive, it was just kill steal. It like just kill steal as much as possible. Like that's all. That's all it was. There you go. I mean, when in doubt, you got to kill steal. That's true, man. Like I pretty much decide that if I ever do well, like in the mid game as a, a uh, support, like some people decide to build like a push stick or portal key or even like a shrunken head. I'm like, nope, codex, kill steal. Codex. Codex. Like you get your codex. You kill steal, and that allows you to get more ahead. So if you get even yep. just a couple of kills with your codex, then you could build your four staff, uh, yeah. or you can and build more codex levels. Nah, you just gotta go codex, but level five. It's just only it's an codex. investment in your future. I build my codex level yeah. five. That's what I do. Like, I mean, you see, that. it's even it's even better if you're captain as well, because you can just pick which slayer and like you just kill steal all the time. Which slayer Parmar slayer, and you just kill steal all the time and you just get loads of kills. It's, that's how you do it. It's the only way to do it. No, I just want but to anyway. Codex. <laughs> I'm done. Like, mini um, maggot Quincy, can you guys handle the cast? I gotta go play a game of Han. I got an itch that needs to be scratched uh, real bad. <laughs> you should play Parasite and just level 5 Codex every single time. Oh, but whoa, whoa. Anyway, way the game mainstream. is back. Okay, that's too mainstream for you. Um, anyway, we are back into the game because the game is unpaused. And, I mean, Donkey are looking very, very good. A nice only 11 minutes in, but 2,000 gold and 2,000 experience, I mean, a lot better than in game one. I think they were down about three or four gold, or two, three, three or four thousand gold uh, throughout the whole game. So, pretty decent at, um, at the moment. Um, for, for Donkey Kong, though, I think this Tempest really needs to start getting involved. I know it's kind of hard because he doesn't have the greatest mobility, but that's the, kind of the issue with Tempest in itself. But, mm -hmm. I mean, I know... 
some of the greatest Tempest players really like to get involved and, and use the ultimate as soon as possible. I mean, um, I can say for, for an instance that, I mean, whenever I used to play uh -oh. Rex, I was in, uh, when, when Tempest... Up top, Bubble's going to be able to get the ultimate on two. Gets the silence as double TPs are coming in. The impalements are going off and Silhouette's going to fall. Empath is in a lot of trouble. Going to get the wall, but this is doing nothing more than delaying the inevitable as Joaquim Jindal is going to get in there with the hook. And gets the kill, so that was well set up. I mean, Torture dug himself on over here, dropped a ward of sight, and that was extremely well planned from the guys at Adrian's family. Yeah, I mean, and I know probably Tempest wasn't really needed, quite unquote, for that gank, but at least he's getting involved, and now he can maybe even put pressure onto the tier one uh, in, in the short lane of Hellborn. And this is the tier one that is most important because it offers so much uh, in terms of map control. I mean, obviously it's not the, the most uh, important in terms of you know getting objectives, but it just stops the you know the enemy carry having a nice and safe time. He's got to have to farm all the way back to his tier two, and it just makes it a, you know a lot harder um, to really sort of farm for, for for file here. And he does die as well. So if they could maybe get this tier one, but they have to rotate back because Don Kong do not want to lose their tier one in the short lane. They might even try and get some kills here. I mean. Prisoner is invisible, but I don't know if he can catch anyone. He's invisible. And Damn it. Oh, wait. No, that's just... That's still the old... The Avatar. <laughs> the Avatar. Oh, no. Um, in the meantime, Hart he's Hart is trying right to get on top of Ward of Rev, and he has no clue that he's on this. So they are very well aware there is an invisible prisoner in Lincoln... I mean, in the top lane. Um... And the defensive tower is going to be glyphed up once again. Torture in position to be going for a side flank, and the chain reactions go out. Oh, oh. Silhouette is going to be trying to get out of there. Empath's coming oh. in. Prison break going out on three. Tempest ultimate is there. This is going to be canceled by the prison break. Tempest going to fall. They're going to get the kill onto Swiftblade as well. And Silhouette now going to be falling back in the back here. Make it three as Torturer falls. The guys from Donkey Kong come out way ahead there with a tower kill three and a burnt Tempest ultimate. Yeah, and no, I have to give absolute props to Kakashi or however you say his name. Kakashi because he Sensei. So... I'm sorry, Beef. I don't play all your weird games or whatever. Wow. I'm English. Like, leave me be. Um, anyway, though, that's great play because you see how many spells he baited there, and he had so little HP, and then just about jumped inside Silhouette. And so when you know the enemy or the Hellborn team started initiating, and there was nothing that Legion could do because they already expended all their spells on the Empath and didn't even get the kill. Um, so really, really played coming out from the Empath here. Um, and as a result, I mean, you know, Donkey Kong looking even stronger now. Five thousand gold, four point three experience lead now. Um, and uh, I mean, there's not much honestly that, that Legion can do. They picked up the Tempest, and I mean, they need to start team fighting. But when they start team fighting, they just start losing because of how you know good that prisoner had a start as well. 430 GPM as well as the 445 on Silhouette. And um, compare it to only you know, Algae, who's having a good time, only 393 GPM. I mean, I have to admit, Donkey Kong are looking, you know, looking strong. It might even be a game three before we know it. There might be indeed, but I mean, what's up with this? No, or a blessed orb. Like, is he going for a null stone? Like, is that what you're thinking is going to be coming out of this? If it's so, got to be, I, mean, I don't know. I like, assume so. I don't know, really. I mean, with the the new change coming up from from null stone, I mean, it is quite a, you know, a good item. I mean, we used to sort of mock it how bad the item is, but after the change, I think it's actually a really good item. Um, and I mean, it's not a bad item, seeing as you know, Hellborn. They have a lot of you know single target spells like the Empath Link, as well as the Master of Arms uh, Charge Shot. I mean, I wouldn't you know go completely disagree with it. Um, but at the same time, I don't know if it's really sort of synergizes with Swift Blade in itself because he's got the Blade Frenzy um, to sort of disjoint spells at the same time. But um, I mean, that's, I mean, he's picked up the Blessed Orb, I mean, and he's already got the Perseverance. So I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be a null stone. But um, I, I'm a little have I've got, I've got some mixed reviews um, and mixed feelings about. You know, whether it's a bit the right item choice or not, to be honest. <laughs> Sorry, once again, having to fight for my honor in Twitch chat over here. <laughs> yes, Breaky, it's it fun. is correct. I thought that the health pot in my inventory was boots. They were red, I was playing <laughs> Glacius, he's really slow no matter what. I just thought that I had boots, so... You know, that's um, why I, I thought I was going Red Boots Astrolabe, but in fact I was going just Astrolabe. Astrolabe. It was. It's fun, babe. That happens to us all. I think it's we. Uh, I think we lost that game. I was playing for Internet Gangsters, and uh, we definitely lost that game. But that was no fault of your own, beef. Don't worry. Like, yeah, just, no, just I, bl I blame team. I blame team for sure. Yeah. Insane, it man. It's Insania's fault. Like he's terrible. I'm so pretty sure Insania like... was playing carry. So yeah, I would say that it yeah, was. That's his pretty fault. why. He's terrible. But... There you go. 
I'm flying, but yeah. Uh, it looks like we are going to be waiting one more second here, but uh, I'm still just not sure about the Snow Stone, if that's where he's going to go. Like, I really feel like he needs a portal key or something, because especially because you can't disassemble the Null Stone anymore. If he was going no. for a Null Stone into a sheep, then yeah, that's cool. But you can't disassemble it anymore. They added the, what is it, 150 gold recipe? Uh, yeah, they added that. I think that's the right, um, the right balance change as well, because you can really quite easily use it and abuse it. So, do you mean for silhouette, by the way? Or do you mean for swift blade? I mean for prisoner nine four five. Oh what? Oh beef, you made me. I thought you meant for swift blade. I said like all this stuff about swift blade, and then you just say it's prisoner nine four five. Yeah, 945. I told you I wasn't paying attention. I was arguing with Breaky oh, in Twitch chat. You it's make me sound like a retard. Well, why would you I, do that? I really don't. It doesn't take too much effort. Oh, no flame! No flame! Fired. <laughs> shots fired, beef. Why would you say? Yeah, that. What? Blessed order knife and prisoner. What the hell? I'm assuming it's gonna be a straight. Uh, okay, it's an Uh Yeah. Okay. About that. I mean, he's having an awesome time, so I can't really criticise him. But yeah, I think the portal key would be a little bit better. But I mean, you do have you know some manner issues with the prisoner of nine four five, and the null stone's obviously gonna help. Um, as well as the you know the balance change onto it. I mean, it's great. It's a great item, and there's a lot of you know spells that. Uh, there's not any spells uh, other than Gauntlet Blast, maybe, and the Tempest Stump. Um, but other than that, there's not too many. Um, so yeah, I kind of do disagree with this item. I just think there's a, a lot better items for um, you know, for the cost. But well, he's been hooking all the time, so I, you know maybe he knows something I don't. But I do disagree with the item choice without a doubt. I think he's a master hooker. Yeah, I think that a portal key, yep. I mean, that's definitely one that we see pretty often on Prisoner 945. It allows them to get the better initiations, the better positioning for the hooks, and whatnot. But in any case, I mean, they've got a significant lead. They just got to keep the pressure up, because LG has just finished up his Ruined Cleaver in addition to the Ghost Marches. So he's going to start farming very quickly. Probably going to be going for something like uh, an Abyssal Skull next, just so that he's able to farm a little bit more efficiently without expending too much health and mana. But a second Null Stone just finished up, so things like uh, the Gauntlet Ultimate, things like the Swift Blade Ultimate, now going to be a lot harder to target. Even the, uh, the Tempest with his stuns, something like that, going to be a little bit harder to use. Yeah, um, I, I think the Null Stone on, on Silhouette makes a lot more sense than, than the Prisoner because I think Silhouette uses his mana a lot more, you know, a lot more than, than the Prisoner, and you have a lot of mana issues with Silhouette. That's that's why you normally see Null Stone quite a lot, um, because I mean, after the the change of Silhouette, it's all about really using your spells as much as possible because of the lower cooldown, like seven seconds on Tree Grapple and twelve seconds on Death Lotus. So you want to be using them as soon as, as they're up, really. Um, and you do come into uh, you know, issues at bottom lane. Yeah. Kraken's most likely to be falling as well. Sidestep God from Kraken uh, on the chain reaction but not going to be enough he once again burns the kraken ultimate right before he dies as well uh not really been a fan of the way that he's been handling those situations middle lane swift is going to be escaping even though prisoner said you will not escape justice so he's a liar you can <laughs> you can barely even see this null stone on, on this avatar but uh... yeah he's just glowy upon glowy yeah, you know he's got an awesome, but uh, well, but anyway, portal key on Gauntlet, however, though. Um, so I think this is going to be the key where you know, Legion can start getting active, perhaps you know, with the bubbles and Gauntlet. Um, I'd really like to see sort of like almost like a gank squad coming out from maybe Torture, uh, Gauntlet, and Bubbles. Um, actually, talking about Bubbles, Bubbles might be in trouble and it does get the shell. So the way Swindle is diving, though, he's going in. Sky he's going in. And he's going to have to swap out. Oh, great. Yeah, but look at that. Two TBs just baited completely just because of that one little move. So, um, you know. You know, making quite big plays even. And middle lane, yeah, the middle hook lane. is going to connect. So played going to be stuck with the spin. That's the auto attacks coming in from Empath that are helping to secure that. Well, that's Illusion! Oh. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't even realize. Like, that prisoner practically killed him by himself. Mm -hmm. Like, that's insane. This prisoner is going ham, man, and he doesn't look like he's going to stop anytime soon. Yep. It I was not sure on that one either because it's the uh, Empath avatar that actually changes colors depending on where she is. And so I was like, I, I think that's an illusion, but yeah, but I'm not sure. So anyway, prisoner higher, highest GPM on record so far. Yep. I mean that record is not very deep, but you know, we're we're working on it, boys. We're we're gaining experience. We're getting there. We're getting there. But um, uh, as far as you yeah, were talking I mean, about with the gank squad, though, um, I I think that bubbles. I agree. 
the my god another. yeah he's just gonna land these hooks all day long empath's there and there's the drain coming out gauntlet is going to die but he might look to set up a counter kill Millstone. just kidding Millstone worked out obviously Millstone. it was the Millstone correct pickup and prisoner's looking he's for another hook again. yep this guy doesn't stop he's hasted man he wants it uh, I'm it calling bad. it right now. Blood. I'm calling it right now. Oh, that hook was so close. Bloodbath on, uh, on on prisoner. I'm calling it right now, but Do you accept the bet? Um, that is the question. Yeah, I, I, I accept the bet. I do not think that prisoner will get a bloodbath. That is, of course, a 10 kill streak. Yep, agreed. But uh, I think he's going to get it, though. This um, guy's playing it out of his mind. I don't. Are, I are, need we, to get... are we betting anything? Or is it just a gentleman's bet? Oh. Just about being right. I don't know. What, what, what bet can we make? I don't know. The the tower. Mm, up Damn. top, I think Empath is in a little bit of trouble here. Gonna go for the drain. Bubbles is going to take cover that one, and Swift Blade's coming in. But I think Bubbles is actually the one that's in trouble now. Kraken gonna charge forward, getting a little bit of vision for his team. There's not a portal key available on Silhouette yet, which just burnt the Energizer. Um, there's portal the portal key on Prisoner. Key on prisoner. I hope that oh, Silhouette's was... going to go yeah. for a portal key next. At that point, I think that they need to five man. Mm, um, agreed. Because I just don't think Ooh, there's torture is getting killed, yet. most likely. Okay, so that bloodbath is going to be one step closer here as prisoner Come getting on. killed. Ha oh. <laughs> ha! File yes. steals it. Damn it. Anyway, middle lane though. Tempest looks like it's you know, pushing in with Swift Blade. I don't think they can really take this though. I mean, yeah, so they are going to back off and. And I have to admit, this Tempest has been a really kind of non-factor. I mean, yeah. and it just feels like all of the junglers have been a non-factor recently in these qualifiers. We saw the Parasite and, and the Ophelia. I mean, Parasite's had a bit more of an impact than, than say, the Ophelia and Tempest. But I have to admit, the Tempest and Ophelia, we've seen a lot of um, a lot of these junglers to have. Oh, middle lane. Oh, Super Play just about gets away um, from the Ancients. Um, but yeah, just like going back to, to the jungle junglers, they're, they're just kind of you know feeling out of fashion. Honestly, it feels like um, not really having that much impact. I mean, this tempest only 240 GPM, zero, two, and three, um, and we saw I think, in the the instant reflex game with Ophelia having barely any impact either. Um, and maybe you know junglers are just coming out of fashion in this meta game right nowadays. Mm, that might be true. Right now, I'm really. Feeling a little bit scared for the guys on the Legion team. They've certainly got the ability to uh, to carry pretty hard into the late game with the initiation and counter initiation potential, but they're going to require some more time for the Swift Blade to come well and truly online. And uh, I mean, on the other side, everybody's farming just a little bit better. This prisoner is going to continue to drop off, though, unless he is going to be getting kills, which I mean, they got two portal keys now. If they had a portal key on Kraken, I feel like they five man, and there's absolutely no way that the Legion can stop them. But they're not looking to do that just yet. Instead, Silhouette's going to be running around and will be trying to get a kill onto this torture. The Nullstone is going to be deactivated. She's probably going to need to swap out right now. Just kidding! Prisoner's going to come on in and Tempest's going to have his ultimate actually cancelled right here. Oh! The hook is going to be dodged right there and now Tempest is going to live! The God Hook! The God Hook coming in from Gauntlet! And here comes Swift Blade! Swift Blade! Gotta go for the Swift Slashes! Oh, no. Brought the crack and ultimate's gonna be used once again. It's not gonna really do anything. Oh, oh the hook part two and Tempest going to fall. Champion, one more. He needs one more. Champion Come of on. New Earth. Oh my God. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, boost. I can feel it. So that hook Believe. interaction was, that was extremely insane. cool. That was insane. That's what we play this oh, game for, man. That's what we watch this game for. Is crap like that. But uh, Gauntlet, oh, Gauntlet top lane. in some trouble. Oh, no, here comes Prisoner. Oh, Hook on the one oh, and two. The yes. Bloodbath streak. Mini Maggot wins that bet. And Swift Blade will get the Swift Slash off. No way he's going to kill anybody, though. And Empath survives. Gets out of there. The double Bloodbath streak here. First class, C Rhett. And GG being called. Oh, we're GG already. Wow. So, so yeah, we are gonna you, see game three, you won man. the bet, and we go to game three. I'm happy. I think everybody's happy, man. Damn, man. Damn. This prisoner. I mean, is this Super KG in disguise? I mean, I said it, but he's, I mean, he's landing some insane hooks, man. Like, he has been playing sort of extremely out. well so far. And uh, that game definitely showing off. I would not be surprised to see Prisoner 945 being banned out in the first four bands of the next game. But 
we're going to have to see. I mean, what do you think, Mini Maggot? Uh, predictions for the next game right now. Who wins this one? Who continues in the Hunter season with their qualifiers? I don't know. Oh, why did you put me on the spot like this? This is such a close game and a close series. Um, I'm going to say Adrian's family. I'm just, I'm just saying it. I'm just calling it out. There you go. I, I think yeah. that Adrian's family might need to take this one a little bit more seriously, but I'm going to have to go on the other side, man. Donkey Kong have all the momentum going into this game three. Slasky, File, both looked on fire. I mean, Chepe sitting at 2-0-2. Two, two. He, he was extremely active in that early game. Uh, tapered off a little bit from there. I feel like they need to make sure that 